This model kit reviews of the F4E Phantom, and this is the Thunderbirds version. It's a 148 scale model by uh, ESCI, and uh, this is an old model kit, an old box. It's been taped together. And uh, I don't see any additional pictures there. So let's have a look inside. This is a really old kit. Wow, that's a really, really old kit. We have a bag full of loose parts. All the parts seem to have been taken off the sprue. Here's our, uh, our uh, fuselage half. These are actually all recessed panel lines. And there's a fair amount of surface detail, which is quite surprising. It's actually also very well molded. We do have a few mold lines, but otherwise pretty good quality. Same for the other side. And uh, that just snapped off. This is very brittle plastic. Here's our uh, wing. And uh, this is the lower half of the wing. Also recessed panel lines. And uh, really old plastic. Here's the top part of the wing. You can see this part's already been damaged. We may need to rebuild that section there. This is really, really old. Here's our wheel well. We do have another one here. Some detail on the wheel wells there. We have uh, some fuel tanks. These are fairly nicely molded. There's another fuel tank there. And uh, a few remaining pieces, injection seat pieces here on these sprues. Here's our uh, cockpit, which has got no surface detail there. We do have some, uh, let's see here. These are air intakes, which are nicely molded, as you can see there. Here's our... Uh, Stabilizer elevator. There's a nose wheel well, that's got some good detail. This looks like this is part of our nose, it's in two pieces. Some landing gear parts, maybe some air brake parts, and our other air intake. Looks like that's all of that. Let's have a look at these extra pieces here. So here's our uh, exhausts, exhaust nozzle. We have some body flaps. Here's our uh, canopy. Fairly well molded. Here we have some wheels and some pretty good molding detail there. And we have a whole bunch of little pieces. We have some landing gear parts, slight uh, mold lines there. We have our injection seats and the sides of the injection seats. We've got a number of those. And then our injection uh, handles, nose wheels, pretty good. Let's have a look at our uh, decals. Now these are some old decals and strangely enough they seem to be in reasonable shape. Here are the, uh, the instrument panels. These are some old decals. Here's our instructions. We start off with the uh, cockpit. 
put that inside the fuselage as well as our air intakes. So the fuselage is glued together. Then we put the wings together. And then we put the wings on the fuselage and as well as the uh, stabilizer, landing gear and wheel well doors, exhaust. All those are glued together onto the fuselage. Then our nose and canopy goes on. And you can have it open or closed. Nose wheel and wheel doors. And optional to have fuel tanks on there. Some of the details of the plane. Then we have the uh, painting and decal guide. And uh, some of the other details from the side, as well as the different numbers. So, all in all, the quality is uh, reasonable with the molding. There's a little bit of detail. Um, not much on the wheel wells or cockpit. Um, and this is obviously an old model kit with fragile parts.